Okay, consider this equation. A times x equals lambda times x, where this object A is what we call a matrix, and this object x is what we call a vector, and this object lambda is what we call a scalar. And what must happen is, if you go this matrix times this vector, and if you go this scalar times this vector, you get the same thing on both sides of the equal sign. Consider this example. Let's go with this matrix here. 7, 9, and 3, 1. And let's go with this vector, 6, 2. And let's go with a scalar 10. And it must be the same vector, in this case, 6, 2. Let me convince you that this actually works. So, uh, let, let's do over here first. This scalar, think of it as a coefficient. And coefficients can be dropped inside into these objects called elements. Let's distribute. It's the distributive property. Let's go 10 times 6. And let's go 10 times 2. Keep it wrapped up. This is still a vector. Let's play on this side. This is a little more complicated because here you just take the number and distribute. This is more intense. So here's what you do. What you do is you focus on the first or on the top row and you focus on this column. And we're gonna go this bubble times this bubble like this. We're gonna go seven times six. We're gonna go nine times two and we're gonna add those together. Let's see, seven times six. 42, and a 9 times 2 is 18. 42 plus 18 is 60, so let me just put a 60 right there. Now, instead of this row, we now focus on this row, but we stay with this one and only column. Let's go 3 times 6, that's 18. Let's go 1 times 2 is 2. Add them together, that's 20. And so we have equality here, it's balanced. So because this happens, here is what we conclude. This is a matrix, this is a vector. But because this happens, this is not just a vector, it's what we call an eigenvector, right? This is an eigenvector of this matrix. Now, this is a scalar, but because this magic happens, Instead of just calling it a scalar, what we do is we call that an eigenvalue of this matrix. So because this happens, we call this an eigenvector of this matrix. We call this an eigenvalue of this matrix. But it must happen like this. Now you're probably thinking, well, this happens all the time for any randomly chosen numbers. It does not, let me convince you that it doesn't always work. Okay, so I just created this situation. Here we have a matrix. This is the same vector, and here is a scalar. Let's see if this works. Let's do the easy side first. Distribute the two to get 10, negative two. Now let's play over here. Let's go this row times this column. So we have, was that 15? 15 and uh, negative one is 14. And then we have this row here times this column. So let's go that times that and that times that. We have 10 minus 4 is 6. So here, these objects are not equal. So this doesn't work. So here is what we say. This is a vector, but it is not the eigenvector of this, right? It's not an eigenvector of this matrix. Maybe it's the eigenvector of somebody else, but this is not an eigenvector for this matrix. You see this scalar? Maybe it's the eigenvalue of somebody else, but it's not the eigenvalue of this matrix. Now, before we go on to the next situation, let's just make this vocabulary clear, okay? That's a matrix. These guys, that's the vector, and that's a scalar. But because this worked beautifully and perfectly, this here, it's not just a vector, it's an eigenvector. And the scalar, gets then called an eigenvalue. So eigenvector, eigenvalue, matrix. This, this is not the eigen anything, and it's not even the matrix. This is just the end result, which because they're equal, 
led us to conclude that this eigenvector, this eigenvalue of the given matrix, this was just to help us to reach a decision. All the information is up here. Okay, let's look at the situation where you have a, a matrix. I have a matrix and I have a vector, but the question is, is this vector an eigenvector of this matrix? So let's create this equation. We're going in for A is the given matrix and going in for the X's is the given vector, which we're gonna test to see whether or not it is an eigenvector. So let's test this one first and then we'll test this one after. So going in for A, we have our given matrix uh, right there, just copy and paste it. And then going in for both the X's will be the, the vector that we are testing. And then lambda stays lambda. Let me make that look like a lambda. So here on this side, let's multiply these the way we did last time. Let's go this row times this column. Seven times two is 14. That's negative 20. 14 minus 20 is negative six. Now let's try this row with the same column. That's 20, um, and that's negative 32. 20 minus 32 is negative 12, like that. And on this side, let me just leave the lambda alone. I'm not gonna distribute it, I just wanna leave it like that. And now I just wanna take a step back and analyze this situation. Can you think of a number? Can you think of a number here to put right there? Give me a number that if I take that number and distribute to these guys, I get this right? This number times both of these creates that. Is this possible? I think yes. Look, look, look. Negative three, right? Negative three times two, boom. Negative three times four, boom. This works. This is possible. And so because that is the case, the answer is yes. We say that this is an eigenvector and we say that this is an eigenvalue of this original matrix. Now let's test the next one. Okay, so let's multiply this row with this column. We'd have seven and then positive 15, which is 22. And then we'd have 10 and positive 24, which is 34. And on this side, we have lambda, and then we have one and negative three. So can you think of a number, any number in the whole wide world that if you distribute to both of these, you get this back? I don't think this is possible because the only way to create a 22, if this is a one, is for this to be 22. So 22 times one is 22, but then 22 times this is not that. You see that? So this doesn't work. There is no number that makes this happen. And because that's the case, we say, nope, try again. So is this a vector? Yes, but it's not an eigenvector to this matrix. So that's how you can decide whether something is or is not an eigenvector uh, to, to an original given matrix. And just one last thing, another way to check to see if there is a number that times that gives you that is to just look at these numbers themselves. For instance, six divided by that is a negative half. Three divided by this is a negative half, which means that this is possible. And in this case, the number lambda would be two, right? Two times that, two times that is that. So this that's another way. This divided by this must be the same as this divided by that, which is why down here it fails. Seven over negative eight is not the same as this over that. For the simple reason that this would be a negative and this would be a positive. So there's different ways to, to decide if there is a number possible that that number times this would give you that back.